Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Bear Facts. I'm Kyle Lacey and over in Bloomington, he's back at the Convince and Convert headquarters, is New York Times best-selling author of Utility, Jay Bear. So everybody, you should be clapping right now while you're thank watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Lacey bought 6,000 copies of that book. I appreciate it. All on one he day. Actually, he actually built a small condo just out of utility books. It's amazing. <laughs> It's and like I, an Adobe brick kind of thing, but just out I, of books. I created 6,000 different Gmail accounts with 6,000 different Amazon accounts. And then nice. Bought 6, nice. I appreciate that. How come your, your headphones are two different colors? That is uh, that is a striking uh, set of circumstances. They, I have these the whole time we've been doing this for like 30 weeks. You just noticed them. They, <laughs> wow. They're multicolored, and I should get orange ones or blue ones, but I, I love them. I've now that the book has launched, like half of my brain has returned. I have a whole... <laughs> I have a whole new set of, uh, of awareness skills. So. I believe that. Um, okay, so today's um, edition is about Foursquare. Foursquare recently dropped um, some pop-up ads that come up when you check into places. And this, is a, this has been coming for a long time. We've all been yeah. trying to figure out how they could monetize and even if this is a good idea. So, Jay, uh, you know, if you guys want to learn more about it, Verge has a great article, which we'll put on the screen. But, Jay, what do you think about this? You know, it's I find Foursquare and their trajectory to be one of the most interesting case studies uh, in in digital, right? Because they they sort of had this, hey, check in and get points, and it was like, yeah, get some points, and we're like, hey, but wait, what do I do with these points? <laughs> it was like it was like a game without without a prize, really. It was so weird, at least in terms of how many. And then and then it was the hey, be the mayor and get coffee, and I'm like, man. No one's going to be the mayor because the employees are always the mayor, right? So that's right. never going to work. And then that sort of faded away. And, and so there was not really any reason uh, to use Foursquare. And that's, you know, I think their usage has slipped. I don't think I'm, I'm you know, being overly critical of saying no. that. Um, but their new sort of play of being kind of a, a, a mobile-centric version of Yelp, right, where you can right. really find interesting things to do and places to go from your phone based on other people's micro-reviews, I think is very interesting. I actually use it um, when I'm traveling quite a bit now, more so than Yelp. I think Yelp can be a little bit of a hot mess, and, and I, like, um, I like the Foursquare recommendations. And I saw a lot of people complaining about these new ads, saying, oh, my God, Foursquare selling out your know, ads. And I'm like, look, number one, you know, this is a lot of – computing horsepower to do this this is somebody's got to pay for this right? right uh number one and number two i kind of feel like if they're if they're if they're honest about saying look we're going to give you ads that are relevant that are location aware it might be a circumstance where these ads actually become valuable content right, right? um you know if it, if it really is look we know you're here so we think that you'll appreciate this particular offer because that bar is across the street <laughs> or whatever it's one of those few circumstances in life where the ad can actually have inherent value. The ad can be a utility, if you'll excuse the reference. Um, one of the only other places that's like that in some ways is Google AdWords, right? People always say, well, I never click on Google ads. I'm like, well, you're insane. Right. <laughs> because if a company is spending money to put their ad there, chances are they're probably pretty relevant to what it is you're searching for. Um, so I always click on Google ads because I feel like, look, if somebody put the time and money against this, something good is going to happen on the other side of this click. And I think right. Foursquare has the chance to, to you know, trod that same ground if people drop their sort of constant knee-jerk internet reaction like, oh, my God, there's advertising. You know, I remember, you know, I'm, I'm old, Kyle, right? So uh, you you know, I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> I, I remember when we first got advertising on the internet, right? And people were freaking out. I mean, because it was a clearly non-commercial environment for a lot of people were freaking out. I bought the very first banner ad ever on Inc.com circa 1994. And people were writing us letters because they didn't really have email in the same way we do now. People were writing us letters to the office complaining wow. that we sullied Inc.com with an ad. Wow. So that that's that that mentality has always been here. But I think if people can look past that and say, look, an ad can be useful if it's relevant, the same way that email can be useful if it's relevant. Uh, I think this new Foursquare play could actually be good news. And uh, I just want everybody to know that I am the owner of a crunked badge on Foursquare, which is stopping at a bar at least four times in one night. So for those of you. <laughs> For those of you that want badges, that's one to get. So that's another edition of Bear Facts. Thanks, Jeff. Crunked. <laughs>